Have you tried sliders before? No, 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 not the food. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about these sliders. Pretty neat exercise toy. Let me show you how they work. On this first exercise, we're gonna do a single slider. Now, some of these are made where you have one side down if you're on a carpet, the other side down if you're on a hard surface, so that way you don't scratch up your you know, hardwood floors or the laminate or whatever kind of surface you're doing it on. On this particular one, it's always the yellow side down. The other side's a little bit more grippy, and that's so your foot doesn't slide off. On this first exercise, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna keep most of my weight on my left leg. That's this leg here. So what I'm gonna do is go down as far as I feel comfortable, going out as far as I feel comfortable, and then drag that foot back in. Out and back in. Hopefully it's not making too god off of the noise. So you can hear that. But what this does is it improves my flexibility, helps with a little bit of agility. Just because I'm not going fast, you can still help with coordination and agility. And especially important as we age, I'm about to turn 52. So although I'm not over the hill, I'm not a little kid anymore. So it, it takes different kind of exercises to try to keep me in shape. So it's out, back in. And the same thing on the other side, out, back in, out. Back in. So once again, just like any other exercise routine, you want to get your doctor's advice. And just like any other type of exercise routine, make sure you get your doctor's approval or their advice uh, and clearance because you don't want to get injured or if you have heart or lung or blood pressure issues, it's always important to, to get clearance before you start. On this next one, I'm going to use both at the same time. So I still want to try to maintain good posture. I'm going to bend down and I'm just going to do my feet, almost like an elliptical motion, except for my feet aren't going in elliptical, they're going horizontal in a flat line. So as you can tell, I'm springing up some to take pressure off the discs, and then I'll switch. So the front foot's gotta go back and vice versa. Now typically you wanna try to do I don't know, 10 to 15 per side, or go for 30 seconds to a minute, depending on what fitness level you're at, what you're trying to do. Now granted, slides like this aren't going to build muscle. So the only real thing for that, I mean, some body weight exercises, and this is a body weight, I'm using it just, I'm just stepping on the slides. But what you want to do for putting on muscle or gaining real strength is use weights. Obviously, there's the other types of cardio if you're trying to improve your cardiovascular function. But the good thing about some of these other exercise toys, it breaks up the monotony, especially since most people don't like working out anyway. But this is a good exercise tool to, once again, break up the monotony, to make it a little bit more fun and interesting. On this next one, I'm still gonna use two of these. I still want them on my feet, but I'm gonna be in the push-up position. I'm sure you probably have heard of mountain climbers. Well, this is just another fun way to do mountain climbers. So the ball of my foot, I have the ball on my, Put my foot on the other one. I first start in a push-up position, need a chest, and then I'm just gonna alternate. Now typically what you want to do is keep the hips down. However, as a neat modification, what you might do is hop up and then it's a little more deliberate little bit more range of motion. So if you find the information helpful, don't forget to subscribe and like and share. It helps my channel. And don't forget on YouTube, you can subscribe. I think there's over 30 million, maybe more than that channels. You can subscribe to all of them if you want to. That would take a long time, but you know, whatever free time you have, you can subscribe to my Next one, I will admit, this one's a lot tougher and you want to be good and warmed up before you do it because it's a uh, very big chest and arms exercise with this. So what I want to do is instead of having my feet on the sliders, I'm going to have my hand on each slider. So what I do on this one to make it a little bit easier, and I'll show you the easier way, knees from like the modified push-up position, and go out, squeeze back in, out, squeeze back in. Very good one for the pecs. Another modification of this one that's not going to work the pecs as much but it works the core because you have to stabilize. Once again, if you're really good and I'm not warmed up, so I'm not gonna try it the harder way, which would be out here, do it from the knees. I will go out one, 
pull it back in. Out, pull it back in. Out. Now, of course, what that does is really works the core. Now, you will feel in the pack a little bit in the arms, especially with the arm out, and you're dragging it back in. That really works the muscle, so give that one a shot. All right, so on this one, I still want one foot on one of the sliders. I'm going to press out. Keeping all my weight on the other leg, I'm going to try to go in 180 and then return from the way I'm making. So on this particular exercise, what I'm doing basically is a static squat with one leg. Static meaning I'm not going up and down. I'm just trying to hold it steady in that single motion. So I'm not bobbing, not, nothing like that. Certainly not doing a pistol squat type, but one foot goes in a full 180, the best you can. Trying to keep as little weight on that disc as you can. On this exercise here, I'm going to do um, a leg curl. Kind of a modified bridge. A bridge is when you're lying down on your back and you press your hips up towards the ceiling. You could also do a single leg bridge. But what I'm doing for this exercise is my feet or my heels are on top of the disc. Head and shoulders down. Raise my hips. Extend outwardly. Feet towards my breast. Out. And pull it back in. Really good for the hamstrings. So once again, head and shoulders down. I can use my hands to the side to help brace myself. Hips up, out, pull back in. Out, pull back in. And it doesn't take long until those hammers are screaming. Woo! Hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time. Once again, ask me any questions if you have any about not just these exercises, but from my other videos as well. All right, see you next time. Enjoy your day.